Good morning, this is Manira from Kismet Ventures Inc. in Chicago Land. I am I do these segments because I want to find people who instill values in other people. And I'm looking for, um, I help them find the value. I find that there's a lot of people out there who are not, uh, you know, valuing the, them, themselves and not valuing the things that they do. So I am taking this upon myself to create um, this segment so that I can help other people find their value. Today's guest is um, Deanne Gorda, and she is from the Caribbean. Hi, Deb. Yeah. Hi. So, Dinesha, right? Tell me, yeah. your, tell me your name again. How it's pronounced? Dinesha. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, you're out and about. <laughs> yeah. You? Um, today's a day. Uh, uh, since I'm home today, I am washing. And well, I don't really have to cook because we cooked yesterday and it still have food remain. So my children just came back from the shop. So okay. I'm outside. Yeah. So you're enjoying. You said that there was a holiday today? Yes, we had one yesterday and we had one today. <laughs> nice. What are you celebrating? Today's Corpus Christi. Okay, good. Yesterday was Indian Arrival Day. Nice. I like the holidays. <laughs> we have a lot of holidays here. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a mom of two. I'm not married. I live with my, my kid's father. Um, I have been in, I started off as a virtual assistant, but it wasn't really, I don't know, maybe the, at the time I wasn't really targeting the people that I was supposed to be targeting. And then last year, I was about to give up on doing it on a whole. And um, what happened is I was doing a, I was doing a 30 day live challenge. And a lot of people keep asking me questions about starting a business and um, how, how to be visible and put yourself out there. Because that was one of the things hardest things for me to do, like to be visible and remain consistency, right? Um, and that's when I decided. And social media was my, my, my marketing was my forty because I used to do a lot of that for people, marketing, managing social media pages. And that's when I decided, you know, I could do um, coaching like, for people who want, women actually, who want to start a business and women who want to put themselves out there. Um, they want to, 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 they're very passionate about what they do, but the fear being visible and I want to help them conquer that fear of being visible. Right. So, um, I, right now I am working on doing a free coaching, well, strategy call with, you know, at least 10 women. And after that call, I'm going to pitch a free service where you can use my service for a month. Right. And if, you know, try to help you grow your, um, your social platforms like help you grow your instagram help you grow your facebook right um so i decided to do it for myself first and you know show people my before and show them my after right um i'm trying to get onto a lot of podcasts and do a lot of collaborating with other business people no, who not in my field but you know um, so I've had a lot of plans for June month to leave my job, but you know, things end up happening, coming in the way that I wasn't able to be consistent with my posting and everything like that. So I decided that, um, the first of June is tomorrow. So today is the day I'm going to sit and, um, do my content and um, schedule all my posting for the week. I decided to do it weekly instead of monthly because sometimes I get kind of confused. So I decided to do my um, everything weekly. So I'm going to um, gather all my content pertaining to social media, pertaining to myself, everything, and um, post weekly, right? And um, try to do a little lives 
um, I have um, I have to build my 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 client my 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 list because I only have like about seventeen people on my email list. I'm trying to build that. I'm trying to build my group. So those are the two main things I'm trying to build within this week. So I want to see by next week Friday if I could get at least fifty new members in my group. And I know with those 50 new members, they will be added on to my list. So okay. every week by week, I'm trying to build 50 by 50 by 50. So let me see how much I could build by this month so that I could be able to show um, what I have done and that way to get people to start to come my way. That's awesome. So yeah. what is it that you're exactly trying to... Um, what what is it that you are exactly going to show them? Are you going to show them how to build a business on on social media? How to how to grow their clientele? How to grow their business on social media, and how to maintain like I want to be able to put my business on autopilot. I'm looking to create products like um, digital marketing products. Like you don't need me to be there to be with you while you building right but we would have like sessions weekly sessions and stuff like that because i don't want clients to get lazy depending on me to be there to help them build their business and build their their their, their online space to get you know so that's awesome. So what kind of women are you, are you targeting women that are already in business and are looking, are struggling or are you looking for women who have? I'm looking at both and mostly mothers because I'm a mother and a lot of people, a lot of, there are lots of mothers out there who are balancing their nine to five and building their business and raising their family at the same time. So those are my targets basically moms and um, female entrepreneurs who, uh, <coughs> who already have a business but they want to move their business from point A to point B to scale it yeah okay so um, you have you uh, how did you get started with this <sighs> um, as I said I started off as a VA I was home and I always used to see like data entry online and stuff like that. And then I came across virtual assistant and I think I started off in the wrong way with it. Like I started, I thought I needed to get a website, everything one time, but it wasn't like that. And the clients that I were getting were, I think I was selling myself short. Like I wanted the clients, but I was just like under charging, you know? And I realized it was kind of a slow period. I always think about going back, doing virtual assistant work and building a virtual assistant business. But um, I still do it on the side, you know, and then how people came asking me about starting a business. How do I go about starting a business? This and that the next. That's when it clicked to me that a lot of people come to me for that, about learning to market on social media and start a business and stuff like that. So that's where I end up leaning towards social media strategy helping you create strategies to grow your business so have you are you still looking to do the virtual assistant business yeah i'm still doing it because i still have one or two people who ask me to do stuff for them like you know with organizing um and stuff like that so i'm looking to build that part to where i i have people who are virtual assistants even ask me if i have any work available so i'm thinking about you know actually outsourcing so whatever i get which was like somebody wants they want someone to do data entry i could always outsource that project you know you know, so it's like having a virtual assistant company, but you know, I am not doing the work I have. I outsource the work to other people. I see. Okay. So I'm trying to think. And so what would you tell the women who are trying to start a business? You know, depending on what business they want to start, what are they looking to do? What type of business they're looking to start? What, who are their target audience? 
you know, trying to identify, help them identify who are their target audience, how to market their business, how to put make themselves visible, meaning not only talking about what their services are, but building the new like okay. and trust factor. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, um, uh, do you have anything else you wanna share with the audience? Um, Hmm, not really. Um, just trying to get my my free strategy call out there for them to know that I'm offering a free strategy call for half a, a thirty minute strategy call to discuss their business and what they want for their business. Right? How are you going to do the call? Um. Well, I'm doing it via Zoom or Skype. Okay. Um, I already have the landing page set up. It's just uh, um, um, every, it's, it's from Monday, I'm actually launching it. I did the landing page. The only problem I had with my landing page is after they signed up, they're supposed to get an email and I did it with um, MailChimp. They're supposed to receive an email coming to their, um, their inbox, but the email is only coming like the next day. Okay. We tried changing it up, but we weren't getting past that. So we, le we left it until we could figure it out. Okay. So when is your conference, when, when is your 30-minute strategy call? Um, they choose a date. They choose whatever day is suitable for them. And, well, I'm, I'm actually launching the whole thing from Monday, please go. So I'm sending it out from Monday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you can send me that so I can put it uh, when I post the call, so then people mm -hmm. can see that as well. I will send it to you. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us on a holiday. Uh, yes. Yeah, and I really appreciate your, you being on the call. Thank you so much and have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.